In this video I'm going to show you how to convert one of these cheap eBay aviation connectors into from male to female. Um, I've actually converted this one already but the process is similar either way. It requires a slight modification to the connector in order to get the clips out. But as you can see, once it's done, you get a male connector and a female socket instead of the other way around, which is how nearly all of them seem to come. Right, so first things first, we need to take them apart. And I'll take this, this half apart first. You don't need many tools for this. A um, couple of screwdrivers and a little drill. Pretty much all you need. Unfortunately it's quite fiddly. And the parts are small so it probably won't show up very well on the video. But I took plenty of photos. Okay, so we only we only need that bit for now. So inside here, you can see a retaining ring just in there, which you've got to get out now. The camera can focus on that. As you can see, it's got a square end. Now, if I can just turn it around, you can see the other end. That end square as well. So that is basically impossible to get out of there. Now, I've seen people on the internet talk about getting a dental pick in there, but it just it wasn't going to happen. I, I do have a dental pick, and I tried it, and I was just going to break the pick. So the solution I came up with to drill a small hole here. Now that's not the end of the world for the IP rating of this because this part which gives its rating clamps over like that. Now as far as I can see having a small hole there is not significantly interfering with that rating. To be fair though, in the situation I'm using it, it doesn't really matter. I just need to keep the worst of the dust and dirt out. Now, once you've got this hole, it's still not that easy to get that clip out. And the way I did it, so I've got the drill. And I've got a 1mm uh, drill bit in there. And the, way I f the best way I found was to reverse the bit because if you're not careful you're going to break it and then you need to you need to first take a screwdriver and then ever so carefully push retaining clip round until it covers the hole. Yeah. So the hole is now covered. You can just see the retaining clip there. Slide the drill bit in and then press Uh, this one's going to be a pain. So when you press it, there we go. So if you if you look carefully there, you see the retaining clip is now out. Now if you're careful, it 
take a small screwdriver and just work that retaining clip there, once it's out like that then you can just run, the, run a screwdriver around it and out it comes Now this part then just slides out. Now it's in two parts and if you're not careful all the pins will fall out and go everywhere. And so you've got that part that goes in the plug and then that part whoop, gives you your pins. If you're wondering the vice was just to hold this while I drill a hole. Now this part, this half's done in the same way. This one's actually a little bit more of a challenge to get out. Because if you sit, if you notice the, re the retaining hole is at, or groove is actually quite a bit deeper so you've got to work on this one a bit I, I've taken this out a couple of times so it's a bit easier oops that was close now you'll probably find oh no because I've taken this apart a couple of times it's loosened up the first time um, I needed to drive this portion out through here and all I did this this part that contains the pins comes out quite easily but this this part tends to catch on the and um, on the inside lip of the retaining ring so if you just get an 8 mil drill bit slide it up there and just tap use the shank end tap and it will come out quite easily Now this part and this part should have the same height to make it reversible. Unfortunately this part on mine was about half a millimetre too tall which was meaning it, it wasn't quite reversible so I simply lapped that face on a piece of sandpaper. Just took two or three strokes just, just to get it down to size. Now if you notice these, these pins aren't quite, they, well they're not round and they slot in there and there's actually cons considerably more depth than you actually need if you, if you notice from here the pin does stick out slightly So you have to have to get about that much into here, but there's absolutely stacks of room. You'll easily get that in. <coughs> so once you've got it apart, lap that face. You need to make a slight modification to this as well, because this originally this is in here. To give you to give you a female plug. When it's reversed, this this part needs to be able to slide freely into here. Now that's a pretty tight fit, but it it, it will work. But to aid to aid pushing the plug together, you need to just bevel here slightly. And I found the these are cheap and nasty. And there was a burr all around here. So just a little bit of wet and dry. You can just see the slight shininess. Just a quick touch with a bit of wet and dry. And they now slide together beautifully. And that, that's good for a million inserts. Right, so now put it back together again. Now these things, you see you've got a 
series of numbers on the back there and you want to try and get all of these cups facing the same way it's not it doesn't really matter but it just makes it a bit neater so take this slide that in there again you might you might need to drive this home on a brand new one now if you drill this hole in line with that uh, orientation moulding then it doesn't half make it easier to get these together because all you have to do is line up this orientation mark with that hole yep. so there you go that's that in and you can see you've got some space there for the retaining ring so just grab a retaining ring put it in slightly get a screwdriver give it a little push there we go it's home and just give it a link now you can see I've had this apart about five times now and you can see I've, I have damaged it sl slightly but seriously nothing to worry about there just a few scratches same on the other side and of course I've taken this to bits so now I need to put all the pins back in Sorry for the poor focus on this, it's just such small parts, it's difficult to keep the focus. Right, so just quickly check there the right way around. Yep, look like it. Right, so now this has got to go in here. This one's a bit fiddly because it's so short. Ah, that went well. Get that in. Slide them all together. And this one's a bit stiff. And what I find here, four mil drill bit. Slide it up there. Just push that home. There you go. You can see the retaining ring hole. So we're good to get that back in there. I don't know why this one's a pain to get in. There you go, it's got it. There we go, that's that in. Now I can put the whole thing back together again. So I'll slide that on there. these on Of course, using the wrong screwdriver. 
and everybody can do it using the right screwdriver. There we go. And lastly, but not leastly, quick push that in there. Oh, just there you go. Back together again. job done and as you can see that's the only visible hole which once it's mounted would be inside the case anyway the other hole is buried somewhere under there